Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. This month I'm going to be making something called ham and cheese chicken roll-ups, also known as chicken cordon bleu. For some reason this recipe doesn't call it what it actually is, which is chicken cordon bleu, which is basically chicken with ham and cheese rolled up inside of it. This is another one of those very simple recipes. It's rather easy to make and there is a side that comes with it. In addition to the chicken, I'll be making some broccoli that will be baked with it as well. So to start off, I have some chicken breasts right here. We're gonna cut this package open. Oops, I hope I didn't cut the chicken. You need two chicken breasts. We're gonna start with one. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna cut horizontally through the chicken. Don't cut all the way through so that you can butterfly it open, which means I can open it almost like I'm opening a book. There we go. All right, now we're banging on all cylinders. Open it up, that looks very nice. All right, now comes the fun part. So the fun part is taking some plastic wrap, I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over top of this chicken. And then over here I have a pan, just a normal cooking pan, and I'm going to flatten this chicken breast by hitting it with the pan. This might take some time, so I'll time lapse this. It should look quite fun. So once you flatten it to your desired flatness, yes, that looks like, that looks actually pretty good. I'm actually going to set this off to the side on this plastic wrap because I need to do a second one. So I'll just time lapse the time that it takes me to do the second breast in the same way. Alright, so I flattened the chicken breast, now I've reset things a little bit, now we're going to add some salt and some pepper and some garlic powder to each of the chicken breasts. And then what you see in the back here, I'm actually going to do some breading in this one. I'm going to put some flour, some egg, and some breadcrumbs on these after I roll them up. After I do this garlic powder, I need to get the egg set. Now the recipe calls for one cup of flour and breadcrumbs. I only did half a cup because usually when I do breading for some reason there's a lot of waste that tends to happen. So I only did half of what the recipe called for to minimize waste. The recipe also calls for two eggs but I think I might actually only use one egg. So I'm going to start with that. One egg. Beat it. I think one egg might be just enough for these two. Alright, now about two to three slices of ham. Part of one slice, so let's see. Let's fold it over there. Put that there. Another one. Put that right there. Do the second one. One there. Good on the ham. It was about two slices each, and then two slices of provolone. One, one. Two slice for here, there, and again here. One more. All right. Now I'm going to put the ham and cheese away, and I'm going to bring over the pan that these are going to go on, which is just behind me back here. And over right here. It did not say if I should grease it, so I hope I don't need to grease it. So let me put these away right here. Now comes the somewhat challenging part. I gotta roll these up. I didn't say anything about toothpicks, so I'm not gonna put any toothpicks in. Alright. First thing we have is the flour. Take off excess into the egg. And into the breadcrumbs. Put it down like this right here. It actually doesn't look half bad. Okay, all right, now we do the next one. So roll the flour the egg. I'm very glad I only used one egg. And crumbs. And on point. Or pan, rather. All right. And I also, I feel like I waste so much that stuff that gets stuck to my hands. Okay, one moment to reset and I'll be right back. All right, now I need to add the equivalent of about three cups of broccoli. This has been setting out for a little while, this uh, broccoli. I'm not sure if they want it frozen. This whole bag, this bag said four cups. 
about, and this is about three and a half. I think it's going to be taller. Okay, so next you're going to take some olive oil, which I have right here, and I actually have some more. Somewhere, here it is. Because I need more. There's a olive oil on top of the broccoli. You get a little bit also on top of the chicken. Okay, and then some salt and pepper for the broccoli. you should be ready to bake your broccoli and chicken at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And, and now we wait. We'll see in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to see if it's done. I'm going to leave the oven on. They look, they look pretty good. Broccoli looks nice and good here. Charred in some places. Actually, that looks pretty nice. Get some tongs. This actually looks pretty, pretty good. I'm going to cut into it just to make sure that it's done. And the chicken. Jesus looks delicious. Let me get some broccoli on here. I hope everybody can see that okay. It's very difficult for me to hold this, but here's what it looks like. Nice cross section right here. Lots of steam coming up. I'm very excited to give this a try, so let's do that. Right, some broccoli on that. Here we go. Mmm, very moist, very good. And very simple, I hope. At least it looks simple. I hope you enjoyed this month's episode of What's for Dinner. One more yet coming up at the end of December, and then January will come, and hopefully I'm planning to continue into 2019. I am interested though, and I have asked this in the past, if there are any recipes that you have that you would like to see me make on camera, leave them below in the comments. I'll check them out. I love trying other different recipes, maybe even recipes that have been in families for many years. So, any of those, leave them below in comments and I'll check them out. So until next time, take care, God bless, and I'm going to enjoy my knockoff chicken cordon bleu. See you later.